center of that uh, the PowerPoint there, you can see the irrigation controller is the, the kind of the heart and soul and the engine of Jane Logic, where we take a variety of inputs from uh, soil moisture monitoring to the satellite imagery that I was talking about, or weather forecasts. A lot of these tools and applications come through uh, four acquisitions we've made in technology over the last uh, 10 years, and we further enhanced and integrated those the software and hardware to give you this uh, uh, amazing grower platform. And so today we think it's the only uh, agriculture platform that, that provides satellite imagery, weather forecast, soil moisture monitoring to help you make irrigation decisions, along with using machine learning and, and artificial intelligence. We have uh, more than 25,000 customers in the USA and Australia that are using a variety of these monitoring and control technologies from our ET Water uh, Smart Irrigation Platform or Jane Logic. Jane Logic Observant is uh, many of our uh, control applications. And you can see these are, these are the sites and how we're located throughout the United States and Australia. So pretty big footprint in terms of monitoring uh, and control. Uh, we just got finished with the, the grower panel, and you heard John Russell talk about managing his 14,000-acre uh, ranch and the challenge and what that's like. And he's got, you know, over 90 sites. And John said, you know, he's got his acres in a 150-mile loop that he has to monitor and manage every day. So this is pretty uh, daunting or challenging for a uh, a very talented manager like John Russell, but how does he go about that? What does he do each day? He says he looks at that each day. And here I put some screenshots of what you can see in Jane Logic before we get into the demo. Uh, these are screenshots that John may look at on a daily basis to try to manage the, those uh, 14,000 acres. I'll start on the picture up on the right. That's a soil moisture map of an actual field um, uh, it looks like there's about 20 fields there, and this might be a thousand acres. So multiply this by 15 times, and that's what John is dealing with. So how do you deal with that to know which field actually has soil moisture uh, issues? Well, we have exception-based reporting. You can look at the map there and see where the red is. That means it's a little dry, and I can hover over that map and get some details on that. And so really you have an exception-based reporting tool where you're going to look at the red. The green is obviously fine in terms of soil moisture, and the brown might be a little bit concerning. So if John's got to, you know, go through the, the – figure out which fields to look at, he's going to look at that red field and drive right there first. In the middle of the page there, uh, in the light blue uh, map, that's the same pictorial of the map. That's actually showing a satellite image – of ETC crop water use uh, for the field. So I can, you can see that red soil moisture gauge where that was. I can spotlight and highlight and look at that field. Do I see anything from the ETC, the evapotranspiration that the crop water used, and just to see if I have any issues or concerns there, and I can get a whole look at all of those fields, that 1,000 acres in the area. On the very left there, growing uh, across the top, that's actually a vigor map. Uh, this is a vigor map from uh, yesterday, and we're in the fall season, and this is after harvest. So you can see the vigor is kind of low, but you can look at that map and see the vigor uniformity. And again, I can look at that exception-based point and see, is there a problem in that field? I have a low soil moisture, but how does that field and the crop look in terms of crop vigor? Uh, right below uh, that uh, graph there, uh, down on the bottom left, you again, see that, that key point, management by exception. I can see the reds there. I'm looking here at vigor change over a four-week period. So this can highlight areas that John might also go look at in the, in the field when you see where is my vigor getting better or worse or having changes or not. You see on the left side of the middle of that picture there, it's actually getting worse. And so that might be a second point that John decides to look at on his drive. And if I look at the soil moisture there, it's also in the brown zone. So very quickly from this dashboard, you can see where to look at when managing, you know, a large, it can be a large field uh, or farm, many acres or small acres. The picture in the middle, it gives you a really a quick way to identify soil moisture content in the root zone. 
this is a so from a soil moisture probe. This is a, a proprietary infiltration rate graph. The green bar highlights where the roots are, 28 to 36 inches. The vertical blue lines represent irrigation uh, activities. The dark blue lines show where those irrigation events, where the water went to in the root zone. Obviously, each irrigation, you're going to want to land it right in the root zone and not go past because if you go past, you might carry uh, nitrates uh, with the, the groundwater. Over on the right would be something that John looks at for the whole season. You have applied water versus ETC for the crop. And you can see in California, you have to aggressively manage water. And down on the lower right there is total applied water. Uh, so that's uh, um, kind of how Jane Logic is used. I, I'm putting my contact details up here. And I'm going to give you an actual demo live of this. You could see it in action as, as I was, if I was a grower and how I'd use the tool. Uh, we will offer a, as a promotional for attending today, the, if you notify me or send an email to me and say, Jane Ag Summit, I'm going to give you 25% off any hardware through the end of the year. Uh, this is a very short 15-minute presentation. We do have uh, quite a bit of trainings at the, the Jane's website, and just type in uh, uh, backslash trainings, and you'll see that library of training, and we'll go into a lot more detail uh, for the uh, Jane Logic, so I'm going to attempt here, John. You can help me out again to see uh, if I can get this uh, uh, correct here and share this screen. So bear with me a minute. This is always good trying to do these things live. <laughs> Looking good, man. Okay, so you can see that, John, the, the I, Jane Logic. I, I can. Look, okay, look perfect. sharp. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is what the general dashboard looks like. So if you could imagine, if you're managing, a, you know, a significant uh, acreage, I'm going to pop that map up there so you could, um, you know, kind of get an overview of your fields in one kind of location. So this could be if you were running, say, uh, this might be an 80-acre 80 80 acre block, and this is how today's technology can help you. So imagine this is 80 acres. Again, someone like John's managing 14,000. He'd have to look at a lot of devices. So all of our devices are in here, and right now we're looking at soil moisture. So the soil moisture, say, for this 40 acres is green, so you're right in the green zone. Uh, over here, they're blue, so maybe a little heavier irrigated, and that's what these gauges mean. And the, the background also is highlighted green or blue, so you can quickly, again, do that exception management. Uh, also in Jane Logic, if I had fertilizer tank monitoring, um, this is an almond fertilizer tank, I have that monitoring. I can set alerts on that to see if the fertilizer, you know, is, is okay in my tank or if I need to replenish that. I have pump. Uh, station and well monitoring. There's a well monitoring. I can see what's happening in my well, the water depth. I have the, the pump from that. I can see the amount of power and the usage on that well that I can monitor. John talked a lot about monitoring flow, and I have that on this field here. So that's so these are some of the key tools that I, you know large growers are using. And then the valve. Uh, position for each of these blocks, I want to know is the valve open or closed or how it's opening and it's functioning. If it's open, you're going to see blue dots. So these are really talking logos. And again, they really help me for exception management to see if there's any problems uh, in the field here. So now we're going to go a, a little bit live here. You kind of got the basic overview in the dashboard. And I'm going to look at now um, the I, let's say I want to know the ETC of that field. I go up here to the icon, click on the ETC. Quickly, I get a satellite imagery and a calculation of what that 80 acres actual crop evapotranspiration was for last week. And I get a good idea on the uniformity and the picture of that as well. If I hover over that, I can get and see, wow, that crop used or consumed point, you know, four tenths of an inch last week. That's the average, and the 90th percentile was about a half inch. The uniformity of that field is 0.92, so that can give you some ideas. If you have hot spots on there, this can be, again, exception management, then I can hone in 
on this hot spot and say I'm white right there, I want to go look at that. So pretty, pretty powerful to see that. If I want to look at crop vigor, I just go up here and select the crop vigor me menu. Look how fast this system downloads uh, that image, and it also downloads the calculation there for me. Crop vigor is a, is a metric for sy system health. It's well known. Uh, you can see the uniformity of the crop metrics. I can hover over, and I can actually see what the vigor of the block is, and I get the uniformity of that. If there's a change in this block over the week, I'm going to get an alert. A change of 10% or more, plus or minus, is monitored and given as an alert back. Now, that's a lot of fields to look at, so how do I manage that? I just want to know if it's getting worse or better. We need to make it easy for these growers. So we have a one-week change metric, and we have a four-week change metric. So if we can see things in the field, if it's really hot and I have a problem, I can click on these use these menus and this, this tells me what the four week change was and then you can see it's it's pretty uh, uh, red we're obviously in harvest uh, time and so things are going to look look uh, a l little bit different here's the one week change you can see the green so a lot of a lot of change happening uh, on the side now my favorite tool is uh, satellite imagery and etc calculation to help you put figure out how much water is that crop using to help you figure out how much water to put on in the following weeks. If I want to figure out when I should irrigate and for the duration of those irrigation, I think the best tool is the soil moisture monitoring. And there's really nothing. I'm going to click on the grape, grape section here. So this is a grape field in the same area. I'm still on the, the vigor here, but I'm going to uh, scroll back and actually look at all the other metrics that are uh, available on Jane Logic. I'm going to scroll down here and look at this infiltration rate chart uh, because I want to make sure my irrigations are effective, that that water is getting to the root zone but not going past. So I can, you know, scroll through all the soil moisture infiltration rate metrics and say, wow, this is a pretty good irrigation there. I got the water right to the root zone but not past. If I want to dig into this further and just see how I perform, I click on that. I can do a quick pick here and I can look at the – uh, infiltration rate for the last six months and then voila I can quickly see how effective my irrigations have been I'm getting to the root zone I'm not going past I can see how fast water is moving through the soil uh, in inches per hour so that gives me some idea so you can see the immense capability and data that's available uh, here uh, very important uh, click on a, a few more here before I wrap it up uh, we are tracking the ETC, so this observed ECC, this comes from satellite. You can see the trending here, so I can see that. I got ETC uniformity, that also comes from the satellite. Um, and then down here, Vigor, you know, when I'm looking at, when I see those dark spots, those are changes of more than 10%. It could be plus or minus. And then I'll scroll down here, and you can look at water applied and ETC. So those... Uh, those are the real highlights of Jane Logic. We talked earlier in one of the presentations about um, Sigma and that's role. I, we've created some Sigma uh, reporting, and I'll click on a, a flow meter report here, and I'll look at water year-to-date applied. I've got a PDF. I'm going to download this PDF. And I hope, John, you can see this PDF. Can you see that, John? Yes, I can. Okay, so this would be a Sigma, California Sigma qualified report. It's got the well location, the APN number, and the gallons and the, the amount of water that was put on for, for years. Now, this data is, is saved. It's archived. It's safe and secure. And, and uh, so it, just a, another phenomenal tool. I don't have enough time to go into the scheduling app, but we've got a phenomenal irrigation scheduling app that allows you to take these inputs put it into an irrigation schedule, and then go into and through our uh, control suite of, of irrigation controllers, um, all in the name really to help the farmers do, you know, as a tool to do a better job, help them out. And Great. that, I think I probably used up the time there. You did, John. yep, yep. We started a little bit late, so it's, uh, we're not going to be exactly on the 15 minutes. But uh, Eric, we did have some questions, and I will say that uh, if you do have a question for any of the of the technology showcase we're not able to get to, we will get them to the folks. 
and then they will respond to you directly with no problems whatsoever. So whether you ask a question on our Facebook feed or via the Zoom application, uh, our folks, the technology experts, they will get those and they will respond to you directly if we don't have time to get to them. Uh, Eric, it's Jane's USA, J-A-I-N-S USA dot com. And that's how to find hey, out more information uh, about Jane Logic. Correct. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Eric, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for the support and for the presentation today.